Exactly a year ago, a visit to the beach ended in tragedy. Retired teacher Jo Hartman, her daughter and friends were hit by a massive wave in the parking lot. Hartman passed away due to breathing complications. The Children's Seilinki's Club was one of her favorite spots. Uh, well, the afternoon that um, our friends um, asked uh, her, we're going to look at the, at the waves. It wasn't that nice day, it was cold, it was a type of rainy. And she immediately said, yes, I'm in. So she was, she was in for any kind of um, adventure. adventure. <laughs> Wilderness all along the beaches was like just yeah. very special times together. And if I look at the photographs, I can just have an album full of photographs of walks on the beach. Yeah, so this is really a special place and I must tell you the people of Wilderness, oh, yeah. I, yeah, I just love them and we became great friends. Yeah, and this is also my, I think, forever place. <laughs> <laughs> One of the art projects is a sculpture based on the legend of an oyster catcher from the 1800s. It is said Linky drowned herself off these rocks after being jilted by her boyfriend. In a cosmic coincidence, the same wave that caused Hartmann's death also washed away Linky's sculpture, which was sculpted by one of Hartmann's former students. So it was the same day I put her up after four months being in the museum. I decided that morning, actually there was no clouds or nothing, to put her up and for her opening or reveal on the next Tuesday. And that was that afternoon around about four o'clock when the same wave washed away Linky from her pedestal and also Mrs. Hartmann passed away in the same incident. But um, she was also my teacher in math in Bloemfontein way back when. So there was some cosmic link to this whole happening, I believe. Following the establishment of a visual arts policy at the George Municipality last year, the Wilderness Ratepayers Association approached four artists to beautify the area. First of all, that building I've had my eye on since 2007. And it was uh, just a green that was old and tired. And I thought, imagine just putting something ocean, anything ocean. I mean, look at this beautiful place we've got. And then I was contacted earlier this year and it was, yes, please, I'd love to do that. And thanks to Faree, Faree was busy in Stillby and he gave my number, so I was very grateful for that. And we are hoping that people will catch on, you know, it's, it's like a small flame. They see what's going on in Wilderness and then they want to go to areas in George. So we encourage the public to identify areas that they think needs a facelift. They can then approach the planning department at the municipality where after they will be asked to submit visuals because there is a committee that actually approves the visuals before you can just go ahead and do it. And the whole idea is Wilderness, George, Uniondale are really nice, great tourist attractions and we want to encourage people to enjoy what we have to offer. Tanya Krauser, SABC News, Wilderness in the Western Cape.